We have known from the get-go that COVID-19 causes damage to the lungs. Now there's evidence the virus causes collateral damage to the heart. Joining me now on The Morning Show, Dr. Pamela Rama, a cardiologist at Baptist Health. Now, I, I know there's a need for more research, but the recently published results raise a pretty interesting question. Is heart failure the next chapter in the coronavirus crisis? That's true, Bruce. Um, you know, it's very concerning, particularly one trial that showed that 100 patients who had COVID, and they were relatively young patients, the, age, the mean age was 49, and they had, most of them were asymptomatic or had mild symptoms that did not require hospitalizations. Yet, when they did cardiac MRIs on these patients two months later, they had evidence of cardiac involvement from, from uh, COVID. As a matter of fact, 60% of them had what we call as inflammation information in the coronary arteries in the court in the heart I, I read the article in JAMA and, and doctors found there's inflammation throughout the body in the heart this inflammation impairs blood flow and reduces the amount of oxygen so does this mean if you have a pre-existing heart condition you're more susceptible to problems. Absolutely, and we know that hypertension, heart disease, obesity, and diabetes increases your risk for an unfavorable prognosis when you do have COVID. So take it one step further they also found damage among people who did not have pre-existing conditions. So what interventions can be taken given these new findings? Well, I have four advice to my patients. Number one is try not to get COVID, right? So we do, uh, we wear a mask during appropriate times, frequent hand washing, don't touch your face and social distancing. Number two, try to adopt a heart healthy lifestyle because you want to avoid having hypertension, heart disease or obesity, which gives you an unfavorable prognosis should you get COVID. Number three is if, if you've had COVID and you have persistent symptoms like shortness of breath, fatigability or, or chest discomfort, seek medical attention. You might need cardiac imaging studies to determine whether you are developing the long-term sequela of COVID. And number four, which I think is not emphasized more, is try to volunteer for clinical research. You, uh, you know, Baptist has ongoing clinical trials for COVID. Ask your doctors if you could be part of this trial, be part of the solution, and, and that's the only way we could really beat the disease. When it comes to the impact on the heart, the bottom line here is the medical community still is not clear about the long-term effects, but we do know that the news is alarming enough. There needs to be more research. Absolutely. You know, we don't know if this effect is temporary or permanent, but if it is permanent, then you're looking at hundreds of thousands of patients developing heart failure in the future. From the research you've seen, from the patients you've seen, what's your take right now? I think that it's very worrisome, and I think that people who've had COVID, just because they've recovered or if they're asymptomatic or just minimally symptomatic, doesn't mean that they're out of the woods. I think these are patients that we have to follow long term because a majority of them will end up with cardiac conditions, and, and hopefully we can have more trials to see how we can prevent this. And, and let's talk about another reality. There are still a lot of people out there, Dr. Rama, who are afraid to go to the doctor's office or even you know, to the hospital because they're afraid of contracting COVID. If you've got symptoms, if you've got a medical condition, that's really the worst thing you can do. Absolutely. You know, we've had uh, patients who wouldn't come in the hospital because of heart attacks. Uh, you know, if they've had heart attacks because of the COVID and, and, and sometimes they come to our hospital too late with significant damage to their heart muscle. So what we advise patients is that it's safe to go to the hospital, especially if you're having an acute problem. If you have mild symptoms, you can, uh, you know, do a virtual visit with your doctor to determine whether you should go to the hospital or you could be managed at home. Dr. Pamela Rama. Thank you. Maybe Thank some heart-saving and life-saving advice there. 729, take a look-see at the website.